want to take a minute and I want to talk about my new films coming up here in 2023 and 2024. I start production on Party Foul this weekend and uh, it's a comedy so I'm going back to my roots for this one. If you know me or you've seen anything of mine, you know I started comedy, little skits. Uh, I started filming back when I was, I'd like to say 13 years old. About that, about that far back, um, and it's evolved ever since. Uh, here in the past couple of years, I've made 15-minute short films, comedies. They look stupid, they were, um, but they were just for giggles, you know. Party foul. It's about these two guys who throw this massive graduation party, and everything goes wrong. By everything, I mean somebody dies unexpectedly and randomly, and they have to figure out what to do with the body. They go on an adventure throughout the night with many twists and turns. And trust me, you'll, you're going to want to watch that one. It stars Ryan Bray and Harvey Roddenberry with a small role from Zakaya Wilkerson. It's going to be a good one. That one should wrap up filming in October. And also starting in October is my second film, All the Difference. This one, it means a lot to me. I spent a while writing this one. It's been something that's been on my heart recently. And it takes place kind of in the same era that I'm in and a lot of people are in, where you just graduated high school and you don't know what to do with your life. I take inspiration from the poem by Robert Frost, The Road Not Taken, where, you know, in your life, you're going to have those two roads. One's going to be societal norms, and the other one's going to be the follow your dreams. The road less traveled. And that's what this one focus, focuses on. It's the road less traveled. Uh, it's about a young girl graduating high school. She loves art. She's really good at it. But her parents want her to go to college and to get a normal degree. But she wants to follow her dreams. And trust me, you're going to want to watch that one. Not a depressing tone, it's a happy tone. I want people to feel the emotion that you can do what you set your mind to. And that's what I intend to draw from that. That one will be good, and it should wrap up filming in November. Both of these, um, editing-wise, should be done by February, and I plan to send them out to festivals. Um, see how they're taken there, and depending on how they're taken, depend on when the release date on YouTube is. It could be late winter, early winter, or even spring, uh, but I'll keep you updated on those. I draw inspiration from many different films for these. I watch a lot of movies, and if you know me, you know somebody who knows me, they can tell you I watch a lot of movies, and that's where I draw inspiration and ideas. Um, just film, it can touch you in ways that even books can't, because it's an expression of our lives on a screen. Whether you might not relate to every film, there is a film that relates to you, and there's a film that relates to other people. For Party Foul, I have that more high school epicness. Um, I draw a little bit from Outer Banks, adventure wise and comedy wise, a little bit, but not that much. Um, I also draw from Project X crazy high school party movie and the color grading with that one will look more very similar to this video right here it will be more like La La Land with a lot of purple brighter brighter colors it's, it's a set at night the whole the whole film is set at night so it has to be a very specific grade with that and that's what I want to go with it brings out more colors it brings out a little bit more light now with all the difference it'll have more of a brighter to color grade to it. It'll be there's a lot of outside shots in that one surprisingly. Um, so it'll, it'll be a lot of a lot of yellow, a lot of orange, a lot of green. It'll be beautiful because I want to bring out a em, emotion of happiness and succeeding with that. And I think it's possible. But none of this is possible without you guys. Um, whether you you know you've been following me for a while you know me um it really means a lot that you guys check these out and y'all really do support me i know that um but that being
like I said, I do need extras for these. Um, these are going to be tough things to make due to resources and budget. So, with any help you can, I would love uh, if you can help out with just just being an extra stand-in, especially for party foul for one big party scene. I would love uh, if you want to come on the show.